Saka Fets YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Guys, today we're making twice baked potatoes. Hello my darling, so straight on to the recipe, I'm using 5 baking potatoes and I'm just going to use a fork and just pierce it through to allow it to cook nice and quick, okay? My oven has been preheated to 180 degrees, I'm going to be putting that in there for about 45 minutes to an hour or until it's nicely cooked. Once it was cooked, I removed it from the oven of course and you just want to allow it to cool for at least five minutes before you attempt to cut it because listen it's gonna be piping hot all right so i'm gonna be cutting it into two because i prefer some smaller portions when making these twice baked potatoes once they're all cut in half i'm just gonna scoop out the insides into a clean bowl because we need to flavor it up before we fill it back in Once we're all done, you want to set the skins to one side and to flavor the potatoes, I'm going in with some sea salt, black pepper, some parsley. I'm also adding some spring onion, some cheese. This is just some mature cheddar. I'm going in with some double cream. You can use half and half as well. And don't forget to add in just a little sprinkle of garlic powder. The clip got cut off, but it will be down below in the description box. Now that my potatoes are nice and smooth, I'm just gonna go ahead and just use a spoon and just fill in those skins, okay? You wanna put a generous amount. I tend to just use five potatoes and then only fill about four of them simply because I wanted to have a little bit of an excess, okay? So if you wanna do three potatoes, always go for four. That way you have sort of like an extra just to fill it up a little bit more, okay? So I'm using my small spatula just to fill it in just so that the filling doesn't fall out, but I will be roughing it up a little bit later on with a fork because I don't really like the smooth look. We're just pressing Pressing it in to ensure that the filling just doesn't fall out once you start eating. Now topping it off with some cheese and some parsley. You can put as much cheese and as much parsley as you like. I find it really helps to look really pretty when it's baking. And I'm also going to sprinkle just a little smoked paprika on the top. Guys, this is just going to be so pretty once it's cooked. And yes, this is just going to be everything. I'm also just going to be baking this for about 10-15 minutes or until it's nice and golden on the top. You can leave it for as little or as long as you like. And this is it after 10-15 minutes. So I hope you enjoy this easy recipe. Try it sometime. Let me know how you like it. It's a pleasure having you here and I'll see you again in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.